All right, today's the day. We're going to pull the cab. So what I did is I went to Harbor Freight and Home Depot, and I got a couple items to help get the cab up high enough off the ground. So I bought some 4x4 four four, um, planks of board, 8 feet long, and then I bought some jack stands. The jack stands at Harbor Freight were about 100 bucks, 106 bucks. But I needed some 6-ton jack stands anyway. They're a little bit higher for my four-wheel drives. And the wood was about 30 bucks at Home Depot. So I bought three eight foot long four by four boards. And my plan is I'm gonna jack the cab up high enough to slide the rails underneath it and put the jack stands underneath. And that way I can slide the truck out or slide the frame out and the truck cab will stay put. Then I will use my cherry picker that I have and lower it back down on the cart. That's my plan. I'm trying to do this by myself so that you guys out there can see that you can do a restoration by yourself. I'll even show you all the tools that I use. I probably use 30 or 40 tools to disassemble this entire cab. So anybody out there can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Get her jacked up. Well, as you can see, we got it completely airborne. So right now, it's still resting on the frame just a little bit, but we just gotta jack it up a little bit more. Uh, these are the jacks I got. They're six ton jack. They go up 23 inches high. I've only got it probably about 18 inches right now. So I've just gotta kinda reposition it a little bit, get a little bit closer, actually get it off the frame, because right now it's still sitting on the frame. So that's pretty much Worked out just like I thought it was going to. Hits up quite a bit. Everything's disconnected up here on the firewall. I don't know if I shared any of that stuff with you. Disconnecting the wires, the dryer box, and the uh, the plug for the power. It's just an eight millimeter. You just unscrew it, pushes through, pretty simple. The uh, steering column comes down through here, connects right here. That was pretty easy to disconnect. But I left the, uh, obviously the master cylinder. I left the wiper arms and just disconnected all the wire harness. It wasn't actually too tough. Uh, just gotta reposition it, kinda get it to a spot where we can slide it out. Go ahead and readjust it and I'll come back in just a minute. jacked up where I need to for about 28 inches off the ground it's kind of sketchy so I put the uh, frame hoist up there just in case we was to have any problems I'm gonna go ahead and push it out and try to get it out I'm trying to do this all by myself I did have to have my son kind of help get it leveled and balanced but uh, anyway wish me luck here we go
far, so good. All right, so we got it. I've got the front or the back of the frame just right underneath the front of the cab, partly for safety reasons. So we got to get this back down to the ground without dropping it. So I'm going to rest it onto the back of the frame, then I'm going to lower this down, and we're going to get her done. All right, so it looks like my battery's about to go dead. But basically the process is I'm going to just lower this down so that it has something for the front to rest on. Lower the back down. And I wanted to kind of show you the whole thing, but my battery's almost dead. And we, we're running out of light today, so we're trying to get her done. But uh, we got her. Got her off. We'll have to take off the master cylinder because we uh, lifted it up and hit the house or the roof. So we're going to take off the master cylinder and then tilt it back up. But we'll see you guys. All right, guys. So we got, got it all done. Got it all pulled out. Got the cab obviously off the bed. A lot of work. I think it took me probably, well, with a little bit of help, as you can see there in the last clip, it took about six days to get everything taken down, torn apart. But now, uh, our, actually our goal was April 15th, so we hit that and we have 14 days left. So now i got to gather everything up and send it off to the sandblaster. Uh, looks like I'm going to probably have to put, I'm going to take the door panels, I'm going to do another video on disassembly of the door panels and removing the windows. Uh, I've got, oh we got to pull that blower box out and we got to take out the uh, condenser and the uh, heater core out of that blower box, so we'll do that one as well. And I got to remove the door handle on the tailgate and the latches. So I still have a couple more videos left on this. But as of we're pulling the bed and getting it off the cab, we're getting it off the frame, mission accomplished. Anyway, please rate, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys next week. Later.